I didn't consider uh, running. It just wasn't anything that came into my mind. But I was very interested in education policy issues. And there were eight people running for nine open seats on my local school committee. And so that seemed like good odds. A uh, very unrisky <laughs> way to uh, become involved. I had just moved to Melrose out of uh, the city of Boston and wanted to be more involved in the community. Uh, so I encourage everyone to run in local office. Um, but uh, you also have to be careful of the snowball it starts. But it really, my grandmother is um, the person who inspired me. And she never worked outside of the home. Uh, she was a homemaker. She was very involved in her church. But she just was ahead of her time. And she was always um, calling in to talk radio, trying to disguise her voice. <laughs> and then all the women of the Altar Guild would say, yeah, I'm named after her. Catherine, was that you? And you know, but she just was an inclusive person who never had much materially or financially in her life, but she felt like she was the wealthiest person. So she just really always talked about giving back and how you give back. And she loved politics. Uh, and so every Sunday night, we went to her house for dinner. And I really didn't think it had rubbed off in the way that it did. But my dad was the, you know, the Republican. And my grandmother was the Democrat. And they would really go at it. Um, and they loved each other dearly. So I think they also were their relationship an inspiration for bipartisan cooperation. I know it can be done. <laughs> in, uh, Thank Congress you, Catherine. As well. <laughs>